Hey y'all, it is Asia and we're back again with another Dear Diary. Compliment of the day is really just the energy I feel like I'm carrying right now. I feel like I'm definitely in a good mood these last couple days. So shout out to God. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's the compliment of the day. Thank you, God, for being in my life. Um, anyways, so today's Dear Diary. Um, I'm feeling very indifferent, but I basically kind of just want to speak on a post that I saw, and it's regarding black men. The post said, and I'm, I'm assuming it was from a woman's standpoint, that uh, black men have failed us, um, basically, like, accepted. And I had, I felt so uncomfortable with the statement solely because, and I know people are like, women always want to be independent and they want to, you know, feel like they don't need nobody. But it's, it's, it's really just like, as women, I don't feel like we should expect other people to protect us. Like, I don't know if that's just like the way that I grew up and seeing what I saw and maybe like, that's not a good way to think. But honestly, like, I just don't know. Like, I don't feel like you should expect for for anybody to protect you because when when you do that's when you wind up looking hurt so another thing that happened was this older brother wound up fighting his sister and this other girl because they wind up pulling up to kroger's his sister wanted to fight one of the cashiers he said go get in the truck she didn't listen and he beat both their asses to be honest and the whole time it's nothing but men of different races different ethnicities different ages just looking it's cashiers just looking that are men that know that they can at least speak on it and say, hey, bro, you don't treat no woman like that or restrain him or do something. Everybody just looked. So it's like, I think back to that post saying like they failed us. And I feel like I don't even really know if it's their responsibility. And I don't know if it's because that's just the way I grew up in, like, again, from what I saw. But I, I just don't know. I feel like I feel like men should just know, don't put your hands on women. But I also feel like women should know, like, you don't put your hands on no fucking dude. You know what I'm saying? And you don't you, you don't do something without thinking about the repercussions. So I just feel like, I don't know. I just feel so, so indifferent. And I also feel like it's hard to say, like, oh, black men have failed us and stuff like that. But if we go back to the beginning, to, like, us being enslaved, like, we never were even given, like, or, or showed the proper way to think. We were never showed um ethnic ethic or morals or anything like that we came up with that stuff on our own and we developed a code that we tried to live by but to be honest there was nothing that was ever just established in my opinion that shows a man how to be a man it was something that had to be that he just had to figure out on his own so to say that they failed us and they in my opinion they never even were really taught anything i just feel like you can't you can't place that blame on them I personally, I just don't think so. And I don't think that we as women should do that. Like, it should be a standard. Yes, I, I I need for my man to want to protect me, to want to make sure that I'm safe, to want to stand up for me and stuff like that. But an actual expectation of just a fellow brother doing that for a sister, I don't know if it's like just the way that I was brought up, but shit, I don't, I think that's, I think that's a lot to expect of somebody because of just like what I've seen and stuff like that. Like you don't meet guys that's just gonna speak up on a woman's behalf. And for the guys that I know will, I definitely respect them. And I praise God every single day for having those type of men in my life. But I just don't know. Like I really, I, I just don't know. Like I just feel so indifferent. And so basically the Dear Diary is just honestly asking the question about what you think. And hopefully that it causes like conversation because I personally feel like you can't say somebody failed you when they were never even taught how to do it the right way in the first place. And I know we try and we try to do this and we try to do that. But with all the things that I feel like black men go through already, like, and again, it's not justifying it, but with everything that they go through, they figure out how to deal with it in their own ways. And it's not always healthy and it's not always this. So if they can't take care of themselves, who the fuck are we to think that they're going to take care of us or even know how? So... I don't know, bro. I really don't know. I don't. And and it and to me it's really sad because I wish that we were in a place where it's like it was just good and bad and people knew like to just stand up for what's right, stand up for what's like morally correct, but I guess that's not 
That's not how everybody move. Like everybody's so focused on minding their own business and not doing nothing and not trying to, you know, make a make a bigger scene. But sometimes it's like, damn, like do something, like say something. And, and and that's why again I just feel so indifferent because yes, I would love for a black man to stand up for a black woman. I would. But if I'm being realistic, that shit is unheard of. Like you rarely find dudes like that. You do. And and I think that that sucks. So basically, my dear diary is just asking y'all, like, what do you think about it? What do you think about the fact that people are saying black men have failed us? What do you think about the fact, in my opinion, that we as women, I guess, assume or expect for a man to to protect us? Because from what I'm seeing, people in general, they just don't give a damn about you, bro. And if you choose to be that good person, to be that beacon of light, then that's a choice that you make from your discretion, with your discretion. And I still encourage it 150%, but don't ever expect for somebody to treat you or to love you the way that you love them, especially when they don't know how. Now you can try to show them different things and try to and try to teach them or just show them this is what I like, but to actually believe that they're gonna be able to love you or treat you the way that you feel like you deserve to be treated, I feel like that's a big, that's a big if, bro. But like I said, it's, it's, it's really just conversation piece. So if you feel some type of way, please say something. I would love to have a conversation. Um, yeah. Hope y'all had a good day. Um, yeah. Bye.